um, external world will do whatever it does, and any attempts to change the external world before the internal world is brought under control will fail. <clears throat> so the person will keep suffering. They will find. They will try to find ways to to take control over the outside world, but they won't be able to do that. And whenever they think, oh, now I got it. Let's say, you know, we've, we've all experienced that. You, you, I don't know, you find this new philosophy or you had a conversation or you, you do this and that and the other and you think, oh, now I got it. And boom, life or the universe is going to show you a new <clears throat> situation and completely destroys your, your, your emotional well-being and your, your emotional state and all these things. Um, now, you've got two choices at, at that point, right? You ignore a large part of reality in your experiences because the universe will show you and your experiences will show you that <clears throat> nothing is absolute. This, this world does not exist in absolute. So you will always find that your truth is only so true. It's true to an extent, but there are things that contradict you, right? That's just, that's just the way this world is built. So we can't, and it takes a very high level to realize that actually because people spend their entire lives doing that they, they like they latch on to one truth i don't know i'm a republican now and i hate all liberals boom that's my truth for, for life for, for the rest of my life now i don't give a fuck about anything else right now not to like i i have no political affiliation i don't care but <clears throat> what i'm saying is uh people spend their entire lives doing that so um must be at one point that there is nothing in the outside world that, that's ever going to give you stability, ever. Right? And uh, there's also no way to exert any kind of power over the outside world without having this this this, this focal point and this, this axis within yourself. right? And from this axis that you bring under control, you're able to use this lever of, of magic in a, in a productive way, and in a way where you actually have a, have a have an effect on the outside world. Right? <clears throat> now, the only way, because see, the world is 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 connected to the inner state. There's no way to build an inner stability without also changing with the tides of the universe. We have to change with the cycles. So the only way to to find stability within yourself is ironically by stepping outside of yourself and realizing that your identity is greater than this, right? And uh, from this outside position, from this meta perspective, now we can we can we can change the energy, we can change the awareness of the of the of this thing, we can change um, how it feels, how it processes things, right? And from that perspective, now we can sh take charge over the uh, over the outside world because. We're interconnected with it, right? But uh, <clears throat> it's it's a matter of, of of the perspective before the person realizes that they are not the system, that they are not the body. They're hopelessly lost, and they will forever go deeper and deeper and deeper into more illusions, more illusions, and Maya is gonna is gonna have a hold on them. <clears throat> All right. So. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's essentially like. Uh, getting outside of the intellect you know the the intellect as we know is a great tool but people uh you know humans tend to identify with their intellect as if that's the reality or if that's what they are and that causes suffering because the intellect is only used for it's essentially a survival device it's used for dissecting and and separating and analyzing but it can't be used to see a bigger picture and see things that are outside of that kind of logic. And I, I, I deal with this. <laughs> it, you get wrapped up in the work world, or at least I do, because I'm, I'm still running certain kinds of businesses. And there'll be times where I'll have all these things that have to get done and my intellect will start running. And, and, and I can't, all my calculations are, it just can't be done. And then I'll be like, you know what? Forget that. I'm going to go sit and meditate, relax, do some mantras. And all of a sudden, everything just falls into place, right? It just falls into place. Now, my intellect could not see that happening because it could only look at things from a certain perspective. And it's not, it's not able to see outside of that uh, bandwidth, if you want to call it that. But you get into the, um, you tap into the, the higher mind 
and things just rearrange themselves. And obviously that's the whole point. That's what magic is, right? You're tapping into the higher mind and you're consciously, you know, implementing your will and changing things. And um, it's, it gets crazy because a lot of times I've found that even without ever doing a ritual, just having the strong desire and intention for something to happen, as long as I keep myself in the state of mind, which is in that connectiveness, um, it tends to happen anyways. You know, and, and it seems like the more the more you practice whatever your your uh, path is, you know, everyone has a different technique. But if they're staying um, current with that and they're constantly keeping themselves in a meditative state, keeping their body and mind balanced, like you said, and keeping that inner balance and inner power, everything just seems to work out without really having to run around and make it all happen yourself. You know, it's just like I, I deal with so many people like you and I'll be like, crap, I got to call this person and this person and I'm supposed to be here at two places at once. How am I going to get this done? And all of a sudden the next day, is if I do my meditations and um, whatever else I'm doing the next day, people are just like, oh, you know what? Uh, don't worry about it. We'll do it next week. Everything just works out and I don't have to do anything. And it's crazy. And and um, it's a like a daily reminder for me to do that because for me, it's a constant battle to stay in uh, 3D doing certain things and then keeping myself outside of that as well. Um, it's like the, the, the working magician, you know. <laughs> I would love it, honestly. One day I want to be living in the wilderness. Nothing happens. And totally stay in that state all the time. But, you know, it's going to take, you know, I have things to do. And, and it will happen, you know. But maybe when I'm 70, you know. But, yeah. You know. But... You know, uh, I think that's. Uh, I mean, that's a that's a, like I said. I I think it's a training ground. I think, uh, yeah, it makes it harder. But um, if you're able to find enlightenment in this in this society, um, that's great. And look, I'm I'm a. I believe you can find enlightenment in anything in a, in a conversation, in a chat over coffee. And because it is about what you said, it's about this feeling of connectedness. And yes, there, I believe like the, the most reliable way of doing that is um, these magical techniques that we do, the energy work. However, what made, made let's say, and I'll say you, but I mean the people that are, that are, that are listening. It's not, usually you've had an, a, a, a feeling of connectedness, you know, like the common theme is that I, that I get from people is I've had this experience and I wasn't as alt. It felt like an altered state, but I felt really connected. You know, for, for instance, some guy, he told me this experience. This is actually a guy in a wheelchair, right? And he told me about this experience that he had that he didn't do any magical practices or anything, but he, was taken into a, into a movie a movie uh, theater, right? And he watched the movie, and he said, all of a sudden, he felt this incredible feeling of like his heart chakra opening, and then he he communicated with the outside world through through his through his heart, and he he whatever he would ask the door to open and all of us like and right that moment a person would walk up to the door and open it or like all kinds of different things right so he now felt a connection with the outside world and he had this one experience that, that gave him the realization wow what i'm doing with my own energy and all that stuff has an effect on the outside world and then he, he started to read the the hearts code that's a very interesting book it's a um i don't know what what institute wrote that book, but it's it's. Uh, it, I mean, it, they basically did some research on on the, the, the energy field that is generated by the heart and all that stuff, right? But anyway, the bottom line is people have these experiences and they felt this connection, right? And then they want to go back into that because they know now it's real. And then <clears throat> what's what's next is they they trying to recover and then they go look deeper into spirituality and they want to. Uh, they want to go deeper and, and want to recover that experience. And I believe enlightenment can be found anywhere and everywhere. So I don't think being a working magician or being in mundane life is a bad thing. Now, first of all, yes, it makes it harder to stay connected. However, 
if you can stay connected in these circumstances, you got it. I mean, you, you're really good at what you do. Secondly, I also believe that there will be moments where magic can, there will be, there will be experiences where you deal with spirits and, and things and, you know, attacks or whatever, you know, um, where your sanity will be challenged. And at that point, just having this mundane anchor where you deal with the most basic shit, you know, oh, I got to pay back this loan or whatever, or I got to, uh, my car has broken down or something like that, right? So really mundane stuff. At that point, that really anchors you in the physical world. And that could really be a, a savior for a lot of people, I believe. I, I don't believe, see, once again, I, I think, to deal with the uh, with the with the spiritual world, and to be a magician, all that stuff, you you gotta be, you gotta pre qualify by being able to be able to lead a productive life, you know. And you know, the world's complicated. Being a productive person, all that stuff, it's it's not. I mean, a lot of people are, but a lot of people aren't, you know. So it's it's not it's not just a given. It takes a lot of discipline to get up every morning and go to work. It takes a lot of discipline to take care of your household. It, it, all that stuff, paying bills, all of that stuff takes discipline, right? And and taking care of other people, so the, you know. So uh, that alone, um, will be a good framework for magic. I believe. Why? Because, you know, uh, it keeps you grounded. Keeps you grounded. Absolutely.